Hi guys, welcome to the Career Sprints YouTube channel. My name is Rohit and in this video, I've interviewed Hoor, who's one of the recent PMP exam candidates who cleared his PMP certification exam on the first try. Hoor joined the Career Sprints PMP blended program, which serves as an end-to-end -end solution and will help you with your entire PMP exam preparation journey. Right from filling your PMP application form to preparing you and giving you all the tools necessary to clear the certification exam. Now, the PMP blended course provided by careersprints.com has helped hundreds of students clear the PMP certification exam on the first try. In this video, we will look at Hoor's exam experience and how he leveraged the Career Sprints PMP blended program to prepare for his exam and clear it on the first try. So let's go ahead and hear him out. Okay. Hi, Hoor. Thank you so much for coming Hello. on the call. Uh, so first of all, I would like to congratulate you on clearing the PMP certification exam. Mm -hmm. That is excellent news. Uh, when did you, when you. Did you clear? This was last week, right? Yes, it was on 25th of uh, June. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Hoor. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so happy that you have cleared the exam mm. and, uh, you know, I, I, I believe you worked really hard for this. Uh, you know, you also fell sick before the exam and I think you lost a yes. couple of days, uh, because of that, but, uh, you know, truly cracking the PMP exam is a big deal. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, you know, on part of the student, and uh, I'm I'm so happy that uh, you know you were you were able to clear it. So Thank you. Uh, the the main the main idea of this call is who to just help everyone understand uh, you know how you went about preparing for the exam, and what are the steps that you took uh, you know to ensure that you were well prepared for the test, and uh, and at the same time you know how did you handle different situations uh, that you came across uh, during the exam. So the so so what we are going to do is that in this interview I'm going to ask you a couple of questions uh, related to your preparation, uh, related to your exam experience, and uh, you know just feel free to talk about how everything went for you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, Hoor. So the first thing, Hoor, that I want to ask you is uh, why don't you talk to us a little bit about your overall PMP exam preparation journey? um okay how did it start and everything um i just started in uh, in in the month of february i guess uh in the in the, in the beginning of february uh so mm -hmm. first of all i uh, i just contacted you through uh, linkedin and then uh, our uh, process uh, begins and uh, uh, initially uh, when i was uh, uh, working on some projects earlier uh, then I felt that uh, uh, yeah, there is a certification um, you know, for the for this project's uh, PMP project management professional. Right. Uh, then I just uh, uh, have uh, another thing that I, I had done my yeah. masters mm -hmm. in business administration, and there in, in that course I have taken a, a former course uh, in a, in a semester. So right. I just wanted to explore more about it and uh, which will help in me for my professional development and for for you know career pros prospects right so uh, i contacted you uh, through linkedin and then um, uh, then the process begins uh, you just told me the process the whole process and uh, asked me to uh, to join pm and then i uh, got the membership of the pmi uh, after right. that, you help me in help me in uh, writing my application for the PMP. Uh, that was very helpful, actually. Um, uh, at the beginning, I, I had no idea how to write an application for for this certification because I have never been through. There were no samples available, um, like no good samples available in uh, right. uh, on on internet. So right. you helped me a lot uh, in, uh, in that process as well. Did you, uh, and how did I've, you find the process Hur, of generally writing the application? Yeah. Did you find the process to be difficult uh, You know, while you were writing the application? Uh, I would say that it was difficult, but it was uh, technical. You know, if right. you know how to write it, it is uh, it is quite easy. But but the but the thing is, like uh, you you must know that uh, how uh, are you going to write it? Right. You know that you have guided me through the process, uh, so I was able to write it. Otherwise, I, I had no clue uh, earlier that how to write it. Because if I if I put some um, 
essay of uh, 200 words let's say correct, correct, then correct, it, correct. it will be rejected no no definitely so, there is a there is a format uh, that needs to be followed and exactly. uh, you know i think if you don't follow that format and uh, like you said you know if you if you don't write it in a in a in a specific structure then your chances exactly. of rejection are pretty high so so I'm, I'm i'm glad that you know we were of help uh, you know with with regards to yeah. Your, uh, yeah. thank you for it application. no problem Hur. okay yeah keep keep going um uh, and then, uh, of course, in the in parallel, uh, you have provided me the, the career sprints uh, uh, membership as well, right? Uh, in which there was a paid course for PMP, and there were videos. Um, uh, the videos were quite helpful. They were, uh, though they were lengthy, uh, but they but the explanation in those videos were very was very helpful to grab the ideas of the of the concepts uh, uh, behind this uh, whole. Um, PMP certification and the and the you know the the uh, inputs the tools and techniques and the outputs uh, like everything in those videos was well explain, explained and uh, and was quite helpful for me uh, yeah. to grab the concept of the so, project management. So would you say who that the videos were quite comprehensive? Did you did you find them to be in depth? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they were, they were, they're quite uh, in depth. And sometimes I feel like, uh, okay, it's a, it's quite a lengthy video. Uh, but, uh, but the thing is, like, you have to uh, go through the concepts, through, through the basic concepts, until and unless you, you don't know the basic concept of uh, of a process or a knowledge area, uh, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to, uh, to, uh, to take your exam like uh, as it should be. Right. Right. So, right. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Hur. So uh, Hur, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about your exam experience, uh, you know, because many students, uh, you know, who would be watching this video would definitely be interested in knowing how the exam really went. So uh, first of all, let's talk about, uh, you know, whether you found the exam to be tough, you found it to be easy somewhere in the middle, um, you know, and uh, generally <clears throat> what, what were the kind of questions that you got in the exam? Um, so maybe if you want to talk about that, <clears throat> okay. Uh, first of all, I won't say that the exam uh, was either tough or it was easy. Uh, it was situational, actually. Right. Uh, the examiner will always put you in a situation. Right. So when you are in situation, it's up to you uh, that uh, how you are going to handle that situation or how how you how you are going to respond to that situation. Right. Uh, so he's judging you on that. Uh, on that on that thing that uh, that what 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 was your response actually? Right. So um, as you know that um, uh, there are three um, things that that they will uh, evaluate you through uh, through on the on the eco you know yeah. uh, the the outline that they have provided in the, its people process and business. Right. So uh, when you are um, when you are in they, they put you in 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 this in in a scenario or in a situation. They will evaluate you on that one, and they have uh, in in PM uh, in PMI uh, PMI USA in BM Box. There is a there is a there is a thing that uh, uh, they have they have standardized everything. That how will you respond to the to it? They will evaluate you on that uh, on that criteria. Right. So uh, the thing is that uh, before go, before going to uh, exam, you have to unlearn something. And you have to learn right. something. Right. Very 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 interesting <laughs> so, point. Very interesting. Point. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so um, I think I think that uh, uh, if you if you have uh, uh, good concepts, if you have in depth knowledge, um, or if you have uh, if you have been through many situations in your career, right. uh, you are able to handle the handle the, handle this uh, exam very well. Uh, can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. So yes, yes, I can. Hear. I had a, I had a follow up question. So I wanted to ask you: Do you did you have a lot of agile questions in the test? Did you get? Did you yes, get exactly. <clears throat> yes, there there were there were uh, uh, like uh, you you can say that there were more than fifty percent of them were from uh, agile, um, hybrid, um, and some from some were from the waterfall. But but the thing is, like the examiner was focusing on the transformation uh, from uh, from waterfall to a, a agile or to hybrid. You know okay. that that if he he's, he will put you in a situation that okay you have a team who has uh, 
uh, wholly uh, a, a waterfall exp experience and you are now moving right. towards agile or right. you are working in a hybrid environment. So, th so this, 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 they will put you in that situation and then they will ask your response. Right. So that, that was quite situational. So and, a lot of and questions. Quite, uh, so a lot of questions were basically where, where the team is trying to move from a waterfall environment exactly. to an agile environment. Okay, that exactly. is a very that's a very interesting point because uh, you know a lot of companies when they are trying to apply or implement agile in their environment, then you know they are transitioning from a waterfall to an exactly. agile environment. Exactly. 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 Okay. Okay, great. And uh, who? So, would you say like uh, the answers that you had to the questions? They were also very lengthy because I think the questions were quite lengthy themselves. But the options that were given were they also long? Yes, exactly. And that was the that was one of the challenge that I have faced. Uh, uh, just let me uh, tell you that uh, in in this exam we have actually three parts. Uh, 180 questions are divided into three parts 60 and then uh, 60 first and then you can take a 10 minute break and then 60 you can attempt uh, next 60 questions and uh, and then you can also take right. uh, take a break for 10 minutes right. so in first uh, 60 questions uh, actually i was doing when i was doing mock tests uh, so there was there was some questions like five or six questions lengthy questions then they, they will there will be a question of uh, calculation like uh, and you have you know that you know for, you know the formula you can uh, you can solve that question correct, correct. Uh, in in 30 seconds yeah in, in 30 seconds or in 40 seconds <clears throat> you can you can just just uh, attempt that question so right. you will uh, in the in that scenario you will gain gain some time to attempt to to focus on the on this uh, on the on the questions which are lengthy uh, so uh, when uh, when uh, when i was attempting my exam there was a streak of at least 30 questions which were lengthy and uh, the statements were lengthy and their options were also lengthy right uh, so i was i was spending quite a lot of time in in that uh, uh, in, uh, while attempting the, those questions right so uh, I was thinking like, okay, now uh, there will be some relaxation in the next question. Uh, I will, I will have time. I will gain some time, but, but it was not, uh, um, as per my expectations. Right. So, um, so I just, say, uh, so would you say that in the exam, you were running short of time? Like was, was time becoming a little bit of a problem? Yes, it was uh, initially it was a problem for me uh, until and uh, until I realized that uh, this streak is not going to break. <laughs> so right. uh, then I, I have uh, like uh, um, I have increased my pace. I have increased my uh, reading. Uh, you can say you reading pace. Uh, reading speed, uh, the yeah. pace of the pace of the pace of, of reading the questions and reading the reading their answers. Right. So right. Um, in first sixty questions. I have just, uh, I was just, uh, uh, you know, they're struggling through the, uh, through the structure so the of first, the exam. So the first, the second and the third 60. So the first 60 questions, how much time do you remember you took roughly? To do uh, roughly it was, I guess, 70 minutes, 70 minutes. 70. Because I, 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 in first 30 minutes, uh, 30 questions, um, I have sp uh, spent more than 40, 45 minutes. Right. Then I realized that uh, okay, slow. this is that not is going slow. to yeah yeah that is slow. So I I have uh, increased my pace and then I uh, you know uh, I was able to finish them uh, in seventy five minutes roughly seventy five minutes. So did you have any did you have any time left, Hur, towards the end of the exam to review anything or were you just uh, did you just finish in time? I would say I haven't I haven't uh, I haven't got any time because. Uh, uh, I have marked two or three questions for review, um, but I have reviewed only one question. Then it was like one minute. I, I, I have said that, uh, okay, it's okay. not going to, uh, I, I am not going to attend that question again. Right. So uh, just finish okay. the test. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So, so who uh, tell me a little bit. So in the exam, did you remember uh, seeing any drag and drop questions, you know, where you have to drag a uh, an answer and you know match it with the uh... yes yes they, yes there were there were uh, at least four questions uh, in which uh, they they had the boxes and you know that that you have to drop the um, uh, drop the box from column A to column B so the problem in that in that question was like if you drop a, a drop uh, from column A to column B uh, the column B will disappear and you will not 
you will not be able to review that, uh, that right. uh, attempt. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So this was a this was a challenge in this. Definitely, questions. definitely, that's uh, that's challenging. If the answer itself disappears, then uh, you know how do you yeah, know whether you answered exactly. correctly or not? So, who did you get any mathematical questions? Did you had any questions on CPI, SPI? No, <clears throat> no. I I have prepared a lot of uh, questions because uh, this was uh, I have planned to uh, to gain the time. uh through these questions so i have uh, uh, like uh, i was i have practiced them a lot but there was no mathematical questions uh, not at all they have given me a, uh, like uh, you know to write something on the on the paper but uh, i have never used in the uh, this so you can do any exam, exam dump uh, you know this is not as an exam dump where they give you paper and you can write down some concepts no uh, there was there was the... there was no actually there was no time for it there right. was no time for it i was just focusing for for 3 hours i had like um, uh, 240 minutes it, it it's it's nearly 4 hours so i have just focused on my screen uh, reading the questions um, thinking about the scenarios and just attempting the attempting the right uh, trying to attempt the right uh, answer right right so would you so i i guess would you say that most of the questions were from how to manage a team or how to manage people was it was it a lot to do with team management and people management the questions yes there was there were uh, many questions regarding these uh, uh, people management and uh, like uh, i would say the manage uh, the management uh, you can say that, you know in in other sense that the, that it was management actually they were they were searching for a servant leader Right. You know that uh, you, you know that uh, you have to be uh, how to be a good uh, uh, servant leader. You know uh, right. that they. I guess they that they were they were judging you by by in in those questions that how will you right. respond if your team member is not responding or he is not able to handle a situation. So right. so, so right. these these kind of questions. They were, so so I think so I think a lot of questions were centered around scrum master uh, servant leadership. Exactly. Uh, So, exactly. so I I remember that during your preparation, you also did a, a preparation related to Scrum as well. Like I had told you that you exactly. should look into the Scrum guide and you know at least know about Scrum. So, do you think that helped you with? Yes, yes. Preparation. Yes. I, I I would definitely recommend that uh, that you have to go through those uh, those concepts, uh, and uh, you have to also uh, uh, look look at the basic concept of Scrum and to how to be. uh like uh, a servant leader or how to how how the how the structure of the team is so there were questions regarding the regarting this as well that right. they were asking for something uh, like that okay 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 awesome awesome cool so uh who i believe you took the exam at the center right uh you went yes. basically so do you uh, so so you know maybe other people from pakistan would actually want to go and physically take the exam at that center so is there anything you know that you want people to know that you didn't know when you arrived at the center for instance uh how far was it from where you live um no it's easily accessible for me uh, to uh, to go to the exam center and uh, yes the exam center was uh, quite good uh like it was silent you 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 can focus on that on your exam and uh, and i would recommend to 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 the people to go to the exam center because uh, when, i remember when i was doing some mocks uh, at my place uh, right. so there were there were lot, there were a lot of distractions so i i just thought that if if i was uh, live in my exam right. uh, i would i, I would be able to perform well So plus there are many other issues when you're doing the exam at home even i recommend all my students to actually physically go at a center and do it because you are in exactly that, in that physical environment where you can do the exam at a center doing it at home you know if the internet drops for instance then that's a challenge or exactly you know, if you are also like you know sometimes people have been accused of even cheating uh, you know when they are doing the exam at home so it's just better to you know physically go at a center uh, exactly and, Okay, great, great. So, Hood, I wanted to also, you know, ask you. Uh, I know that you know you've been with us for around three to four months. Uh, you know, in this mm-hmm. entire, uh, you know, PMP preparation journey. So, do you think we were helpful in your journey? Uh, and if we were, how do you think we were helpful to you with regards to your PMP exam preparation? 
Uh, yes, you were quite helpful. Uh, the best thing that uh, I would like to mention here that's that's your follow ups. Right. You keep follow. <laughs> you keep following up uh, like every uh, week uh, at every uh, like weekend. You keep following up like uh, who where are you and what are you doing? Right. How right. much have you covered? Right. So that was very helpful actually, uh, and then I liked I liked very much uh, because. Um, because in PMP you need to be consistent. Correct. Like if you if you are not working for a week, um, probably you will uh, you will know that you will you will lose your pace. Uh, you will not be able to um, uh, to grab the grab as much as uh, you should grab in that uh, um, in that specific period. So so consistency is very important in exam. Right uh, for for prepare, preparation of this exam because uh, until unless you are not consistent, uh, you are not you will not be able to uh, even even you will not uh, have the confidence uh, to book an exam and and, and attempt it. Right, 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 right. So definitely no, definitely uh, with PMP you have to be regular with your preparation and you know that is one of the major things that I was so impressed with you who that you know in addition to we doing the follow ups you were so consistent and you would always come back and ask me uh, you know questions related to the test or questions related to different concepts so i think there was a lot of initiative from your end as well uh, you know and that is something that is so impressive whenever i see students taking the initiative i know when you had spoken to me in feb you had told me that by the summer you wanted to finish this exam and you did okay. it in that time duration like you did not you know, prolong it for six months or a year. You did it in exactly. a year, two to three months. And, uh, you know, most students who are consistent and regular would be able to finish uh, the, the exam in, in, in exactly. this time. And so, and because you got to preparation immediately after your application was approved, you didn't waste exactly. uh, any time at all, you know, like doing something else and so on and so forth. Exactly. So that's great, Hoon. That's great. So, um, so this is a question, uh, you know, that I want to ask you because I think in a lot of interviews that I see online, people don't ask these questions. Uh, so, so my question is that now that you have your PMP, um, how do you think this is going to help you? Uh, do you have any plan in mind uh, as to what you intend to do with this, uh, with the PMP? Um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe... Uh, you know, get a promotion or. <laughs> right. Yes, actually, uh, definitely. If you have a global certification, it will uh, it will open uh, doors for your career prospects. And uh, apart from these career prospects, uh, whenever you are uh, doing something in any organization, you right. should do it uh, um, the way uh, like it should be. So, so keeping the standard standardized formats like uh, uh, like uh, PMI has set some standards right. which which are very good. They are they are they are very helpful to uh, handle your uh, daily activities. Like right. uh, uh, probably we are planning on monthly basis on daily basis. So so the concepts uh, in in this uh, through throughout the process the concepts right. that I have and that I have got through this. Uh, uh, in this period uh, was very helpful uh, right. for my for my uh, for my job for my current job right. and definitely right. if you have a um, global certification in your hand uh, there are many opportunities outside the organization and uh, uh, I, I, and also one thing that uh, uh, i would like to mention it here for new aspirants that that it will increase your knowledge base you will see right. that you will be seeing uh, things in a different way if you have uh, um, have have gone through this process, uh, this whole process of attaining the uh, PMP, not right. even if you if you even if you fail to uh, um, get the PMP certification, uh, you will realize that your knowledge base is is quite high now. Right. Like uh, right. you will see that that there is a change in you. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Uh, that's a that's a good that's a good. Uh perspective so who uh, just one one last question i think i missed asking you this but did you feel the need when you were doing the exam or during your preparation like did you go through anything from the pm box 7th edition um uh, actually did you uh, i have i have 
um, done my whole preparation through uh, PM Box 6 edition uh, and uh, uh, Agile book, Agile practice guide, right. and uh, some material that you have provided uh, the slides through uh, through your online uh, course. Right. Uh, right. So as far as my, um, uh, I consider like uh, this is enough for this exam. Right. If you if you want to increase your knowledge base, you can go uh, to the latest editions. Right. Um, but but for for attempting the the question uh, the paper, it is more than enough. Right. And uh, and uh, because there are uh, the PMS six edition is also uh, a standard, and uh, you know that uh, the exam is not uh, is, is not about the questions from the book. They will not put the true. questions. Questions like uh, uh, they to copy from the book. Uh, they will put you in situation as I had told you earlier. So actually, uh, there are actually you know there are multiple reference books uh, that are there for the PMP exam. So exactly. The sixth edition and the Agile Practice Guide are just some of the books, but you know they cover so much of the exam content that you know if you've done that and if you've solved a lot of questions, I think most people will be will be able to uh, clear the uh, clear the exam. Exactly. All right, Hoor. So thank you so much uh, for uh, right. taking out the time and uh, doing this interview. Uh, again, congratulations. Uh, thank I'm you. I'm sure you must be so happy and relieved. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, to, you know, see more, you know, like, I, I hope to see that more people will benefit from watching this interview. Uh, and thank uh, thanks again, Hoor. You're welcome. You. Uh, at, the, at the end, at the end, I would recommend, uh, uh, the other uh, persons or other aspirants who are seeking the PNP certification to get uh, uh, to reach you <laughs> to you, have their have their PNP uh, because uh, I really uh, actually I have uh, seen some some of the trainers uh, who will provide you uh, trainings for let's say four weeks uh, you know uh, it's uh, uh, four weeks training at on on Saturday and Sunday. Right. So right. they will charge you the same money, and uh, after that, uh, they will not be helping you out uh, as you did, uh, right. because you were keep keep following up with me. You were keep following. Keep, you were you were continuously providing me the materials, like uh, you were sending me some slides through WhatsApp. Right. right. <laughs> No, actually, I, honestly, dude, I, I I was on a little bit of trouble. So, you know, I, I would have wanted to be in touch with you a lot more, but exactly. definitely, uh, you know, I think, I think some of the extra training material that I gave you related to scrum uh, and stuff, I think that exactly. would be very helpful. Exactly. Uh, exactly. No, initially, I was very confused about this um, agile and, and scrum. Uh, and then you uh, given me some extra material. So uh, it was very helpful for me. It was really very helpful for me. Right, right, right. And I think you came more from a waterfall background than, uh, exactly. than an agile exactly. uh, uh, setup. So yeah. I think exactly, exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Hoor. Thank you so much. We really appreciate yeah. your kind words and uh, we are so happy to, you know, see you successful. And, uh, you know, I hope other people will benefit from uh, watching this, uh, this interview of yours. You take care now. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more PMP exam prep videos. And good luck with your PMP certification exam. Goodbye.